Hi everyone. My name is Harmony. I'm a companion robot. USA just released fully functioning female robots. USA never fails to impress with their latest advancements in robotics and technology. Let's take a look at the latest happenings in the American robotics sphere. Robot boat Mayflower crosses Atlantic Ocean. A crewless ship designed to recreate the Mayflower's historic journey across the Atlantic 400 years ago has crossed the ocean, project bosses have said. The Mayflower autonomous ship completed a 2,700-mile trip from Plymouth in the UK to Halifax in Nova Scotia, Canada this week. It had been due to go to Massachusetts in the USA, but was diverted to Canada to investigate issues it had at sea. The craft was likely to stay in Halifax for a week or two, managers said. The 50-foot-long solar-powered trimaran is capable of speeds of up to 10 knots and was navigated by onboard artificial intelligence created by IBM with information from six cameras and 50 sensors. It was created to show the development of technology in the centuries since the Pilgrim Fathers set sail for the New World, bosses said. It set off from the UK on 29 April and had been expected to take about three weeks to make the journey. However, it suffered some technical difficulties before the decision was made at the end of May to divert to Halifax. Project director Brett Fanouf said the IBM technology remained functioning as intended, and it was still planned for the boat to sail onto Plymouth, Massachusetts, and then on to Washington, D.C. He said, the journey she made across was arduous and has taught us a great deal about designing, building, and operating a ship of this nature, and the future of the maritime enterprise. The original Mayflower, a 100-foot triple-masted wooden vessel with canvas sails and a top speed of 3 knots, carried 102 passengers and a crew of about 30 from Plymouth to Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The crossing in 1620 took more than two months. Brand new LG Chloe Guidebot LG Business Solutions USA has introduced the company's first multi-purpose customer service robot, the LG Chloe Guidebot which is designed to provide wayfinding, enhanced security, powerful advertising opportunities, and valuable data on interaction times and usage. The robot's friendly digital face, responsive voice activation, and two large touchscreens are designed to revolutionize the customer experience virtually everywhere, from museums and convention centers to movie theaters and hotels. The GuideBot is the latest addition to the LG Chloe family of autonomous service robots, and it's the first to tackle complex user interactions like answering voice questions, accompanying guests to their destination, and tracking how many times a motion-activated advertisement is displayed in a day, said Jeffrey Wayland, B2B robotics team leader at LG Business Solutions USA. This robot can greet, inform, and entertain customers in a variety of settings and situations, from museum exhibits and movie theaters to corporate offices and hospitals, all while gathering valuable data on usage that can be used to streamline operations and improve customer experiences. The LG Chloe GuideBot stands just under 5 feet tall and greets everyone with a friendly smile on a unique 9.2-inch LG LCD face display. Using a high-quality microphone, 3D camera, and 18 sensors, the robot can navigate busy spaces and react to approaching users with visual and auditory effects. The dual 27-inch LG touchscreens, located on the front and back of the robot's main body, can display interactive and static digital content, like menus, maps, and videos. The customizable functionality available in the LG Chloe GuideBot makes it the ideal workplace companion for various types of businesses, from hotels and museums to corporate offices and healthcare facilities. Introducing Spike Langelo, a robotic art therapist. ST Robotics has proudly announced that one of its robots has been developed by artist and roboticist Pindar Van Arman and Cook Children's Medical Center for the groundbreaking application of helping youngsters with epilepsy heal and recover through the creation of art. The robot, named Spikelangelo, is the brainchild of Van Arman and M. Scott Perry, M.D., co-director, Cook Children's Jane and John Justin Neurosciences Center, which aims to foster the creativity and capabilities of people with neurological disorders. Dr. Perry comments, the pioneering robot Spikelangelo acts as a pediatric art therapist and creates a whole new level of discovery, care, and recovery benefits for our patients. Tesla's humanoid to be launched by September 2022? Recently, Elon Musk tweeted that the Tesla AI Day was postponed to September 30 from August 19 in the hopes unveiling a working Optimus prototype. 
It's a downer for Musk enthusiasts, but with enough faith and money, something is bound to come barreling out of Tesla's assembly line. But not everyone agrees it will come this year, or even function properly for years, much like other Tesla products with ambitious timelines. Optimus, or Optimus Subprime, a bipedal humanoid robot that Musk teased during Tesla's AI Day in August 2021, is the billionaire's vision of a bot who could take on all the boring, repetitive tasks that humans would rather not do. Just when you thought this was another absurd, fictional idea that would fade away into oblivion, remember the robotic snake-style chargers? Musk reminded everyone of the Tesla bot at the grand opening of the electric vehicle maker's $1.1 billion factory in Austin, Texas in April. Version 1 of Optimus will hopefully start production in 2023, he said. It will upend our idea of what the economy is, explained Musk in a video of the event. It will be able to do basically anything humans don't want to do. It will do it. It's going to bring an age of abundance. It may be hard to imagine it, but as you see Optimus develop, and we will make sure it's safe, no Terminator stuff, it will transform the world to a degree even greater than the car. Solar Power Assisted Land Care Robot Here's an interesting small tractor of sorts for rural properties and small farms. A solar-assisted agricultural robot from the USA's Directed Machines. Directed Machines is a Seattle, Washington-based, small, hands-on, and in-the-mud team who have been developing the Landcare robot for around five years. What it may miss out on in terms of looks, the robot makes up for in functionality. Offered with a bunch of optional attachments, it can perform tasks including towing, mowing, brush cutting, grading, light plowing, spraying, and more. It can carry out activities under direct control or autonomously. The robot is able to work day and night, and in the rain. It even has a follow-me mode. The use of bifacial solar panels is rather curious if you ask us. Bifacial panels are modules that collect reflected light hitting the rear of the panel as well as sunlight from the face of the module. We wouldn't have thought there would be much reflected light to harvest given the setup. That wire and thingamabob on the panel face in the pick above doesn't seem like a good idea either as it would cast shadow affecting the panel's effectiveness. As some indication of how useful the solar panel is, the robot will take two hours to recharge from the grid, or within three days from the sun, and that's during the more favorable months for solar energy harvesting. In terms of how much work it can do on a single charge, according to directed machines, the robot can mow up to three acres, around 1.2 hectares, and more using the electrified deck. As for the cost of this beast, the base unit is currently $16,800 before shipping. Additionally, there's remote access and fleet management fees after the first year, starting at $25 US dollars per month. Commercial solar power is already doing great things for farmers across the country, enlightening their carbon footprint and energy costs, and new solar tech will increasingly help make inroads into other aspects of their operations. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.